back out. Back out. So, we late one tonight. We're heading uh, to the wee castle camp tonight. Probably seen me this before, but a different location. I'm going to actually camp just below uh, a castle. I'm going to tell you about one. Take a lucky guess. Right, but it's about five past nine. Can't even believe it. I've missed the crack in a sunset tonight. It's just the sun's but it's just disappeared behind the clouds. So, not get there till late. Hopefully, I'll get set up before it's dark. But, hey ho, we're out. So, castle wise tonight, the new cracking view. Pretty the, the sun's went down, but hey ho, a nice wee spot. So, I'm hoping, if I remember rightly, there's a bit directly underneath us. I think I've come the wrong way. Oh no, I've maybe not. So, that's the castle up there. If I remember rightly, there's a wee flat spot just down the front of it. So as long as no bits that fall off, that's a view for tonight. Fantastic. Nice calm night as well. Oh, even I camped in a cave again tonight, huh? But I'm not going it. I'm going to... Mm. I'm just wondering if it is actually flat enough here to, to stick my tent up. Or whether or not I should kind of walk along a wee bit. Well, it's flat enough, isn't it? Right, I think I'll get set up here. Uh, like I say, directly below the castle. So, cracking view. Alright, there's just enough flatness here to get the tent up. Uh, so, let's go on with it. Right, tent wise, I've got the old Pro Ranger with me tonight. So I've only had this out of the ones. Did start the wee tent. I like both of the tents actually that I've sent me the old Pro. But this one I've only had out once, so I'm gonna set this one up tonight. Uh, spend the night in it. Cracking view, castle location. You can't beat it. Tent set up. So this is the spot for tonight. Fantastic. Absolutely stunning. Just a pity we didn't get the, the sunset. I just kind of missed it. But, but a different location. But a castle camping. Prime location. Ah, can you beat that, can you? Fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to get a uh, get the tent set up. I'm going to get the sleeping bag set up. Uh, roll mat. Get my sleeping arrangement set up, and then I'm trying to think. I'm not kicking anything fancy tonight. I've basically got a. I think I've still got a couple of those. Uh, what do you call them? And a dehydrated mules left for the West Island Way, so I'm gonna have one of them tonight. Be cheeky coffee, a couple of chocolate biscuits. All's good. Stay tuned. Set up. So, like I say, Opro Ranger tonight. Uh, geodesic. I think it's got 5,000 hydrostatic head. That's a great wee tent, that. I really like it. Even though I'm out of room in it as well. Uh, sleeping wise, I've got my foil map, but I've not even bothered even putting that down. 
Leviathan sleeping bag with the head tops and all that kind of carry on. But set up for the night. Now I can sit back and enjoy the view. Kick wise tonight, or kick cut, I brought the Tranja 27 UL non stick pan. But at the end of the day, I'm not actually kicking anything in the pan. What have we got? What's in the goodie bag? I'm trying to remember what I've got away. Oh, I've got about 10, 10 sashes of porridge that I never even ate in the West Island way. We've got, we've got a couple of, couple of summit teats. Spicy pasta arabiata. That's absolutely lovely. That's one of the nicest ones I've tasted. And I can't tell a lie. One of the best desserts I've tasted is the custard apple crunch. If you've not tried that, oh, that is immense. Both of them are really, really good. Highly recommend the two of them. Right, as well as that, I don't really eat these that often anymore. Uh, I know I've seen it floating about somewhere. I know, shocking, but there is a wee cheeky curry pot to do. One of them, and chocolate biscuits tonight. Oh, we can see these bad boys. We've got hobnobs tonight, right? I know just any hobnobs. Sticky toffee pudding hobnobs. Oh, oh I can't wait to tear into them later. But that'll be later on. You can see the light starting to fade now. Uh, hopefully I'll we'll get some good photographs. Later on, it's just getting to that kind of time of the night. The kind of, that kind of nice light. So hopefully I'll we'll get some good photos tonight as well. But, uh, first things first, I have just realised that I forgot my vino. So it's just going to have to be bruised tonight. But hey ho, nice location. Just good to be out. Don't go away. So, beautiful night, absolutely cracking wee spot, first time I've camped at this spot, camped all down this coast, beautiful stretch of coastline, but anybody that's thinking of doing it, take your rubbish home with you, right, because there's nothing worse, gets my wick, hope it leaves the place a mess, right, so make sure if you do bring, if you do come here, or anywhere along this coastline, take your rubbish with you. But it's just fantastic. You just cannot beat this, can you? You cannot beat it. Right, back up to the tent. So, I'm going to boil some water up. Uh, get some tea. Just out tonight, a late one. I'll be back out tomorrow. Uh, I'll get. I'm gonna meet up with Marco and Billy. Oh, 
perfekt. You wouldn't believe it. Well, you would believe it. Oh, well, only me. Right, guess what I forgot? You know I've forgot my cutlery, my spoon, my fork. So, we need something to eat my meals tonight. So, the plan is, I'm going to have to drink a pot noodle. Oh, part of the fun. So, I'm going to boil some water up, try and drink a pot noodle, and that'll be my dinner for tonight. I'll get that done, then we'll get a brew on. Then we'll get some light in the matter. But, oh, only me. You know what it is? I was that well organised for uh, the West Island Way. I had everything, all oh, my cutlery, I had everything all neatly packed, dry bags tonight. Come out in a rush. As always, when I come out in a rush, I always forget something. And it, you can guarantee it's always a spoon or a fork or something I forget. And then I've got nothing to eat my dinner with. Right, and I don't see any trees or sticks or anything that I can carve something to eat, so I'm basically going to have to eat, or sorry, drink a pot in the dough. So, here we go. Right, I'm going to boil some water up. Boil some water up, and drink a pot in the dough. And what we'll do, I'll put enough water in this, and I'll get a brew as well. Only me. Unbelievable. Put the dope pot caster on pot nice. Remember that advert? Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe I've done that. Anyway, my pot noodle drink. And then what we'll do, I'll get a brew after this. Typical. Absolutely typical. Anyway, that's what it is. So, I'll let that sit for a minute and then I'll try and drink it. Ah, classic. Absolute classic. Well, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Although, I'm wondering if I make a spoon out of the wood. Probably not. Oh, oh. Well, we might just manage it. Hmm. Good old curry pot in the dough. Can he beat it? Well, better nothing. But, I thought it was going to rain tonight, but. As always say, the sun always shines in the shire. So I'm going to dig into this. Knowing that I could have had spicy arabiata, custard apple crunch. It's just not happening now. So, curry pot in the dough and a full packet of, what were they? Chocolate hobnobs, I'll have to do. I'm sure I'll manage. I'm sure I'll manage to the morning. Right, that spoon's near good, down the hatch. Cheers. Oh, and it all went dark. You wouldn't believe it. Guess what I've just found. It's in my bag the whole time, so I do actually have a... A fork, or a spork, or whatever it is you call it. 
I've just about finished it. But it does mean that I might have a spicy arabata yet. Mm. That's not bad though. I've not a curry pot to do in ages. Not quite my usual fancy cooking, but we'll do the job. Anyway, if I love brew, why not? Decisions, decisions. Right, a New York coffee, three in one, or a Maxwell House cappuccino. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Right, I'm going for three in one just now, and I'll have the cappuccino for a go to sleep. Right, time for a coffee, time for some chocolate biscuits. Jobs are good in. Oh yes. Hobnobs, sticky toffee pudding. So, let's see these ones have a... I've also been told McVitie's do a... McVitie's do a... It's like a chocolate digestive, but it's like coated double, both sides with chocolate. I need to try them as well. I just love Dunkin' chocolate biscuits. So it's about quarter past eleven. I might not even bother having the freeze-dried meals. I'll keep them for another time. I'll just sit and demolish a full pack of chocolate hobnobs. Sticky toffee pudding, no less. Mm. Oh, I could love them chocolate biscuits. Don't know about anybody else. But a cracking calm night, not a bit of wind. I don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow. But I'm going to try and get in my bed for about midnight tonight. Up early, down the road. Packed up for tomorrow night. And I think I'm definitely, I think I'll take the hot tent tomorrow night. I'm going to curtail myself I'm just going to eat half a packet oh. Oh, immense but we sell it great what an adventure it was fantastic Met a lot of good folk. Met a lot of good folk along the way. It's given me ideas for other trips. Great Glenway, and that's 78 mile. I've also uh, Ray, Renegade Scott, and Walter Wallace. I see there, well, what with Wallace, he's just started posting some videos just now, uh, the Cape Wrath Trail. And I know Renegade Scott, he's going to do it as well. Excuse <coughs> me. Great Glenway, 78 mile. 
you can walk it, but I think I've said before, I quite fancy doing it in a canoe. And the Cape Wrath Trail, that's a different undertaking. I think it's somewhat 15, 16 days. I don't think there's even any shops or anything. So, I think you've got to basically get all your food delivered to kind of stops along the way. So you can just basically pick them up when you get there. But, whether I do that or not, that's a pretty hefty undertaking. But I'd like to do it. But we'll see what happens. Uh, right. I don't know, it's after midnight now. I'm going my cap. I'll bring you back in the morning. But good wee night, good wee location. Another one in the bag. Bring you back tomorrow. Good night. Uh, right, folks. Up in the morning. Oh, what a great sleep. Half seven. I can hear the birds tweeting or the, the seagulls squawking. So, I'm going to get up and see what kind of day it is. I think it's been raining last night. I can see kind of droplets of water on the outside of the tent. So. But it's dried snow, so I'm going to get up. Let's see what the day's like. Oh. <laughs> Dry it out, so I'm gonna get up, get packed up, head down the road, and back at the night. All packed up, right, leave no trace, that's where my tent was, absolutely no mess, no rubbish, crack spot, right below the castle, brilliant view, that's it, another camp in the bag, castle camp, something a wee bit different, so everything's packed, I say no mess so that's that for this one as always thanks for watching thanks for tuning in uh, if you don't mind hit the wee like button hit subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell for future notifications and we'll catch you in the next one adios